ARA's ergonomic engineering is designed to accommodate diverse body weights, shapes and sizes. Each user can fine-tune the chair's settings to their precise preferences through ARA's seven adjustment settings, with controls that are clearly marked and intuitive to use. Lift the paddle on the right-hand side of the seat to raise and lower seat height. The seat height is locked when the lever is released. It should be set so your feet are comfortably flat on the floor and if possible, your thighs should be at 90 degrees to your back or slightly more to help keep your pelvis upright and your spine aligned in a natural S shape. The seat slide control is situated on the right hand side of the seat towards the front of the chair. It's adjusted back or forward by pressing the button in while sliding the seat into the desired position. If possible, there should be at least two fingers gap between the front of the seat and the back of your knees. This will ensure adequate thigh support but without obstructing leg movement and lower leg circulation. Each arm pad is height adjustable by pressing the button on the outside of the armrest and sliding up and down into the desired position. If possible, your forearm should be supported at 90 degrees to your upper arms and your shoulders relaxed. If the armrests are clashing with the front of the desk, pull the button under the arm pad and rotate backwards. The recline resistance when the chair back is unlocked can be adjusted to suit your body weight by turning the knob on the right hand side of the seat. Turn clockwise to increase the resistance and anti-clockwise to decrease resistance. The tension should be set so that you're able to recline gently in a controlled manner but without having to push uncomfortably hard. ARA's adaptive elastomer membrane has been designed to flex. This accommodates different shapes and sizes of user, but supports your back in a posturally correct S shape. Because the back adapts to fit the user, ARA doesn't need a height adjustable back. The pattern on the back is more dense in the middle and is designed to provide more support in the lumbar region. The adjustable lumbar control, which is optional, can be used to fine tune seating comfort. To fine tune lumbar height, Reach round with both hands to grip the lumbar pad and pull up or down to a position that suits. To fine tune lumbar depth, rotate the paddle in. Lift the paddle on the left hand side of the seat to unlock the recline of the chair back and gently lean back to recline. Press the paddle down again to lock the chair back in the desired position. The mechanism has an anti-kick safety feature, which means that when you unlock the chair again, you also need to put a small amount of rearward pressure on the back first. For healthier sitting, keep the chair unlocked as much as possible, as this will encourage you to move more, which is better for you. When it comes to driving your chair, even the best ergonomic chairs can't do the job for you. Spending a few minutes getting to know your chair and thinking about the way you sit can make a huge difference to your health and well-being.